Um, I like to play with my brother and and read a comic book. And I like to listen uh, listen a music, a pop song. Perfect. So we would say pop songs because it's more than one. So we pluralize it. Very good, though. That's really nice. And who is your favorite band? Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know who may. I, I don't really. I like. I know I don't know the K-pop like brand, but I know the idol brand. Oh, cool! Okay. K-pop brand. Yeah, um, there's like a really famous K-pop band, but I can't think the name of them. Uh, it's like with the five boys, I think. BTS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one. Cool. So, do you like their music? Yeah. Nice. Okay. So because it's our first class, what we're going to do is start off by uh, playing a quick game. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So let's see. I, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> so just let me know when you can see the photo of the woman and the girl on the screen. I could see it. Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do is, um, I'll scroll up so you can see, is we're going to be describing three photos. What I'm going to be looking for is just seeing what vocabulary you use, what uh, this picture makes you feel. So I want you to try to describe it as in as much detail as possible. Okay, so whenever you're ready. A woman and a daughter is cooking together. Perfect, and what do you think they're making? I think they're making a salad. Yeah, and what else can you see in this photo? They look happy and I could see the vegetables. Yeah, very good. So vegetables, we really want to pronounce that V, vegetables. Vegetables. That sounds better. Very good. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you would like to say about this photo? Mm, the daughter is very young. Great. Awesome. So now let's scroll down and look at some of the vocabulary. So I'll get you to say each word, starting with mother, and I'll get you to go to the right, so Lynn daughter. And if there's any words that you don't know, let me know and we'll go over the vocabulary. Okay. Okay. So what's the first word? Mother. Mother. Good. And the next word? Kitchen. Vegetable. Good. Oil. Ring. Colorful. Cook. Teach. Touch. Pour. Smile. Good. So your pronunciation for all of those was really good. Do you know all of these words or are any of these new to you? Poor. Poor, yeah. Great. So I'll get you to read the definition in blue. To make liquid or flow from a container. Yeah, so if we were to say, have some cereal in the morning, we would pour our milk into the bowl with our cereal. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Can you try using pour in your own sentence? I pour a water in my bottle. Perfect, yeah, that's great. Really good example. Okay, so we're gonna describe another photo. 
<laughs> so I'll, you can start whenever you're ready. Cat, flower, cute, giving a flower to, to somebody. Yeah. Very cute. And how does this make you feel? Like, do you laugh at it? Does it make you happy? It makes me happy. Good. I like it. Oh, is a cat your favorite animal? Yeah, maybe dog and cat. Nice. And do you have any pets? No. Is it common for people to have pets in your country? Yeah. It I could, but our house is still small to have a pet. Yeah, and animals need a lot of space. Yeah. Good. Okay, so now let's take a look at the helpful vocabulary. I think you probably know all of these, so I'll get you to take a look, and if there's any that you would like us to go over, just let me know. Yeah, they're all pretty basic. Like, it's all very beginner English, these ones. <laughs> Cat, should I read it? Um, yeah, actually, I'll get you to read it so I can hear the pronunciation of everything. So, you said cat, now what's the next word? Flower, boot, door, woman, yellow, red, Wonder? Wooden. Wooden. So wooden is the material. So it's a wood floor means it's wooden. So like the bed behind you, it's a wooden bed because it's made from wood. All right. And the next word? Bring. Stand. Look up. Look at. Enter, hold. Very good, nice. Okay, so do you have questions about any of these? What does enter exactly mean? Yeah, I'll get you to read the definition in blue. To get into a place. Yeah, so I am going to enter a contest. Um, or if it's past tense, he entered the house, or he entered the room through the front door. But present, or sorry, uh, future tense is he is entering. So I'm going to be entering the singing contest. So anything that you take part of or um, put yourself into. I entered in Canada. Yeah, exactly. So you entered there and then um, you left when you went back to your home. Very good. So is there any other words that you want to go over in this? No. Perfect. Okay. You're doing really good. Thank you. All right, so we'll do one more and then we'll move on to a different exercise. What do you see in this photo? Flower, top, towel, hand, a person, wood, wood, like is, that she is lying down. Yeah. Eye, nose, hair, Lips, neck, yeah. Very good. And what do you think this person feels right now? What emotion do you think they have? Mm, um, very good. Good. Okay, so now, yeah, comfortable. That's a really good one. Can you think of anything else? Mm, I don't think so. What do you think is happening in this photo? It looks like she's at some kind of spa and she's not getting her nails done. What should, could she maybe be having? having? Mm, 
think she is getting a massage. Good, perfect. All right, so let's move down to the helpful vocabulary. I'll get you to read the words, and if you want, we can go over them. Hand, massage, towel. Massage. Massage. Yeah, because message is M-E-S-S-A-G-E. -S -S okay, sorry, continue. Towel, head, eye, skin, pink, pretty, white, relax, feel, close, close. Close, very good. Do you have questions about any of these words? No. Great, you did really good, and your pronunciation is very clear and easy to understand. So now what we're going to do is a quick reading exercise. I'm just going to bring it up. So the website that I'm on is called Ingu, and I can share this with you, and you can always practice it on your own or with me in class. But today we're going to do some reading. Um, let's do, ooh, where is it? Okay, so the title of this is Why Doesn't the Mona Lisa Have Eyebrows? Do you know who the Mona Lisa is? Yeah. Okay, can you explain it to me? Like, it is the art that someone drawed. Yeah, it's a very famous painting. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to ask you these two questions as our warm-up. Do you know who Leonardo da Vinci is? No. He's the man that painted the Mona Lisa. Mm. Yeah. Do you know any of his other paintings? No. Yeah, neither do I, actually. <laughs> I'll have to Google it one day. So I'll get you to read this comic to me. What are you doing? I'm drawing my sister. Why doesn't she have a mouth? Because I hope she won't talk anymore. Good. <laughs> do you like that one? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I have three little sisters, so it's always a lot of noise in my house when I was growing up. I have one little brother. And is he noisy or is he quiet? He is really noisy. <laughs> yeah, brothers always are. They're always making noise either with their cars or just the toys. They're so rough with them. <laughs> How old is your little brother? Seven. Oh, nice. And you're nine years old, is that right? Twelve. Oh, twelve, sorry, my bad. Twelve, right. <laughs> and what grade are you in? Grade seven. How are you enjoying it? Mm, it is good. Are you doing the classes online or are you back in the school? Oh my. Do you like learning online? Mm, kinda, because I could like rest and do the work. Mm -hmm. So what about things you don't like about learning online? Mm, um, that I can't see my friends. Yeah, have you seen any of them recently? No. Well, hopefully soon. It would be nice. Okay, so the next exercise we are going to skip because it's just a fill in the blank of what we just read. And I think you'll do, it's just too easy for you. So exercise three is why doesn't the Mona Lisa have eyebrows? So here's a photo of the Mona Lisa. And as you can see, she doesn't have eyes, eyebrows. So I'm gonna get you to read this paragraph for me. 
If you need help with any words, let me know. If you don't know the meaning of the word, please let me know as well, and we will go over it. Okay. Did you know that? Did you know? Sorry. Did you know the Mona Lisa has no eyebrows? Did Leonardo da Vinci forgot to draw them? Some people say Mona Lisa is unfinished. What's unfinished? unfinished so it's like you start a job and then you don't complete it or let's say you didn't finish all your dinner from last night it went unfinished does that make sense yeah okay you can continue sorry <laughs> Leonardo painted the Mona Lisa with eyebrows but they were they were ears erased erased over time why doesn't the mona lisa have eyebrow because it was the big fashion in the renaissance renaissance so the renaissance is a time period where the vikings were around it's like the early um i when i think of renaissance i think of castles and knights and people on horseback so it was before technology before electricity mm. yeah. to save to save yeah Shave. Shave. shave them. Women shave their fresher hair, including their eyebrows. Then Nenaldo was an Italian. Italian. So he's from Italy. But he sold the painting to the king of France. Today it is in a Louvre museum in Paris. Very good. So are there any words that you don't know and you would like us to go over from this? No. Good. Awesome. You're doing a really good job. So, could you imagine shaving off your eyebrows? Would you ever want to do that? No, right? Like, I'm just looking at myself right now and how weird that would look. <laughs> okay. It would be really weird to me too. Yeah. So now we're just gonna do some true or false exercises. So I'm gonna ask you, or I'm gonna read the statement and I want you to tell me if it's true or false. Number one is, the Mona Lisa is in Italy. Mm, no. Where is the Mona Lisa? London. Paris. Uh, Paris. Yeah, so if you want to travel to Paris and see the Mona Lisa, you can. Okay, cool. no. yeah. Number two is, the Mona Lisa has eyebrows, true or false? No, false. Good. Number three, the Mona Lisa is a work by Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. So true, yes. Okay, so now we're going to do a reading checkup. So we're just going to go over some of the stuff we learned again. So, number one, the story is about blank. A, B, C, or D. I want you to fill in the blank for me. C. Yeah, exactly. Why Sorry? Why the Mona Lisa has no eyebrow? Yeah, everyone is questioning it. Was it unfinished? Did they come off? Is it supposed to be that way? 
Why? Why is it like that? Very good. So number two, I'll get you to read it and then fill in the blank. Some people say the Mona Lisa is a um, blank word. Um, unfinished work. Perfect. Yeah, correct. Great job. And number three. It was the vision on the race renaissance. Renaissance. Renaissance for a woman to blank their eyebrow. Mm, forget. You don't forget your eyebrows. They're on you. Shave their eyebrows. Deep. Good. Yeah, exactly. Very good. <laughs> Could you imagine if you had to put your eyebrows on every day and you'd forget them? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so exercise six is choose the correct answer to complete the sentence. So, number one. The Mona Lisa is in Louvre Museum in Paris. Correct, great. Number two. Some people say Leonardo painted her with painted her with eyebrows. Correct. Okay, and number three. Women shape their special eyebrows. So number three is women shaved their facial. So facial is anything that applies to your face. And is it A or B? A. Good. Correct. Okay. So that is just uh, the answer. So we'll skip that one. And exercise seven. Read an answer after your teacher reads the questions. Okay. So... We have our Mona Lisa, and now um, I will read the question, and I want you to read the answer below. So who painted this picture? It is a, it is a work by Leonardo da Vinci. Vinci, yeah. So this is a complete sentence. We are saying um, who painted it, instead of just being like, who painted this picture? Oh, Leonardo da Vinci. We want to say it is a work by because he's painted more than the Mona Lisa. So we want to make sure that we give a full complete sentence. We don't want to just give the name. Uh, we're actually going to skip these because yeah, they're kind of boring. <laughs> so uh, we only have five minutes left. So we're going to skip down to exercise eight which is summary. And I will get you to read the passage and try to fill in the blanks. And here are the answer pools. So number one, um, the Mona Lisa is a work by who? And then we'll continue on. The Mona Lisa is work by, was it Lovrendo? Leonardo, very close. Vixen, Vixie, she has no, no eyebrows, no eyebrows. Perfect. Some, some people say the Mona Lisa is an unfinished work. Some people say her eyebrows are shade, shade, are erased shave so remember our answer pool is down here so we have used leonardo we have used eyebrows and so some people say her eyebrows were erased shaved does that make sense what other uh word or phrase might fit better there Fashion. Um, because we're talking about 
it being an unfinished piece of work. So people are like, oh, he didn't paint them on um, and meant to. Some people say, yes, he painted them on, but they were erased. It's really old. So what might have uh, erased them? Over time. Yeah, very good. So over time, uh, if we continue our classes, you will get better at English, right? So it just takes time for things to happen. I'll let you continue. It, but it was the fashion and creations to shape them. Women shave their special hair, including their eyebrows. Then Good. Great job. Okay. So that was really great. And we finished everything really quickly. Do you feel like you learned a few new words today and learned a little bit about the Mona Lisa as well? Yeah. Great. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing. Do you have any questions from today's class? Mm. No. Okay. So we have another class on Monday at the same time. Did you enjoy this class or is there anything else you would like to go over in our next class? I enjoyed this class. Aw, that's awesome. I'm so happy to hear that.